Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial. Today we're going to be making two things, uh, a top-down character controller and a car controller. So let's get started. We click on new. Project name, we will just call it... Uh, uh, let's call it project, just call it top-down movement. Let's create new folder. And you could just leave this at forward plus where you can always change it. So create and edit. Okay, so we have our Godot open up, but it's just the a blank scene. So what we need to do first for the character controller is um, click on this, type in character body 2D. We double click that. Um, so if for our character body 2D, what we would need is the sprites. That would be a visual representation of our character. And we would also need a collision shape to the right so here we can um add new folders in our file and these are down here we you know to make things simple and to help in the long run it's good to have very good file structure but um we won't be doing much here so uh, we could just have an art and and maybe a script folder and uh uh, what can maybe uh scenes all right so we going to save this we rename this as player and um we can go ahead and save and save this uh scenes let's save all right so i have a sprite i'm going to use let me just quickly drag that in all right Try this in a script to the character. We it's here. Here we go. And yeah, Bodo has uh, a built in script for character body. We need a speed variable. Just how fast our character can go. Uh, we are going to also need a uh, necessary shun. Right, so you give it so point one, and uh, if we can go ahead with the physics, okay. So this is the code to handle our movements. So let me quickly run down the code. So we start by declaring a speed variable and then acceleration variable. So this is how fast uh, the, the character goes and this is the acceleration, the rate at which the character goes fast. So in our physics process, we make a variable um, called an input vector as if I put so. And here for the um, for the x axis, it's going to do a basically go to the subtraction, right? The value from this is either going to be a one or a minus one. One means we are going to the right and minus one means we are going to the left. Same for the up, which is the y axis here, and um, and then we're going to normalize the direction so that if I'm going diagonal, we won't be moving too fast. Yeah. So um, this here is to just smooth out the control. When you stop, when you stop pressing down a key, you come to a halt smoothly. Then move a slide, and this is to look at the mouse. So if we run this right now, you see we can use the arrow keys to move the character around, and it faces the direction of the mouse. Okay, now time to make our car. In a car in Godot, there are some things you should look out for. You should know that um, cars should return their front or the center, where we we use typical don't slide side to side unless the car is drifting. Turning mobility, cars need to be moving to turn. Cars can't spin in place like they're on a pivot, and um, you know, high speed turns should evolve sliding or drifting to simulate realism. Right. So for the but for this car we are making, we are going for more of like an arcade feel. Uh. For this car, we'll be using a kinematic, sorry, character body. 
we would need sprites car and collision shape so sprites we would be using our car sprites for this um, oh nice oh i want to uh, measure it as the player so i hope it's uh the player is too small okay so we might have to adjust the car Maybe mm -hmm. better might so okay on five Mm, I think compared to the player, uh, this should be good enough. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so I'm going to do this uh, collision shape. So this, uh, so I'm going to turn it 20 degrees. Then we add hello. And out, so down, out. So we'll get the shape of the car. Okay, I think this is good enough. Well, before that. Name this car. Now we can save. It's scenes. Then get a little bit. Save the pen script thing. So we won't be using any of this. Yeah. 